All right, guys, we're nearly ready to get started, and I hope you're all excited. Can you all hear me okay? Cool, we're only a few minutes away, so let me make sure that I've got everything ready so you can see it all, and we're all set up. There's my board. Doesn't look very straight. There we go. That's a bit better. That's all set up. Let me get myself organized. How are you guys all doing out there? I hope it's absolutely awesome. I'm live on Facebook, on YouTube. I'm pretty much live everywhere right now. And that's exciting uh, to say. Very exciting. Hey, Christine. So if you're on here live or if you're watching a replay, why don't you type on in where you're all from? I'll be very excited to hear where everyone's from around the world. I'm, I'm here in the Gold Coast in Australia, which I think most of you uh, know by now that that's where in the world that I'm operating out of at the moment. And I'm sitting here with uh, Leo, the Total Freedom Lion, who's our uh, company mascot, which is exciting. I want to just take a little moment to talk a little bit about our company before we get into the five-day challenge, because I think it's important. A lot of people ask me, you know, Chris, what is it that you do? What is Fast Track Business? And, and how do you guys operate? And so, you know, a little, a little bit about us. Obviously, we're starting the challenge in about five minutes. Uh, our belief is this, is that everybody deserves to have freedom. Type a yes if, uh, if you agree. Everybody deserves to have freedom. And here's what we believe freedom is. Freedom is doing what matters most. And so we truly believe that most people, what's stopping their freedom is an education. They have enough potential to do what matters most, but they just don't have the education to be able to get there. And so it's exciting for me to say that Fast Track Business, we, we have education, we have processes, programs, consulting services, coaching services from anyone from, you know, startup right through to millions to tens of millions, which is a very, very, very uh, exciting, uh, you know, very exciting to say. Uh, we love the fact that we help people get freedom. We love the fact we help people to fall in love with their life. And, and that's why we're here for you. So we're going to have an absolutely amazing uh, next five days over this Millionaire Mind Challenge. And today, when we start, I'm just going to be going 100 miles an hour. So make sure you got a pen and paper uh, and ready to go. But a couple other questions. How many of you already have a business right now? Just type in that you do have a business by writing in yes or no if you're looking to start one. So do you have a business? Yes uh, or no, you're looking to start one. Cool. Lots of people with businesses. Love that. When I first started out uh, moving from being a business owner in 2009 into helping and teaching and creating this company as an education business, there wasn't that many people that had a business. Most of the people that I talked to didn't have one yet. And so it's a, it's a great time for entrepreneurs right now. So I'm excited for all of the, uh, all the people that are here saying, yes, they do. We're going to cover, cover a lot. Now, if you don't, we're also going to be talking today how to find, how to start, how to get started. And then also for investors and other people, we're going to talk about a lot of things over the next five days because I want you all to get this and understand that you all have the potential to create anything and everything that you like. So it's going to be a massive five days. Let me, before we begin, cover what's going to be on all of the five days because it's kind of huge. So today I'm going to talk about how to make a million in a year with integrity, even if you haven't started. Now you might say that seems like a big claim. Well, I'm going to explain to you just how when my friend died and I went from a four and a half million dollar business to multiple thousands of dollars in debt, hundreds of thousands of dollars, how we built back in just 12 months following exactly what I'm going to be teaching to you. So Tomorrow, we'll be talking to you how to rewire the seven money sabotage patterns. Let me ask a question. Type in a me, M-E, if you know you have money sabotage patterns. You know you do. You know that the potential is there. Awesome. So grateful to see so many people being honest. Tomorrow, we're going to help you to see those. On day three, we're going to help you install the six secret millionaire beliefs. And day three is huge. These actually came from billionaires. 
but I'm calling them the millionaire belief. So I'm going to give them to you on day three. Day four, we're going through this beautiful process. It's a part visualization, part meditation that's going to change your life forever. It's actually something that a billionaire taught me. And then on day five, we're going to give you your million in a year game plan, the three-step formula to magically manifesting more money. Here's my question to you. Are you committed to spending the next five days with us? One of my intentions today is to make sure you're going to be here the whole way that you get to the end because everything is designed for a reason. And so I need to make sure I get you right through because there's a lot to cover. So let's get right into this. You can make a million dollars in a year with integrity, and I promise it's absolutely possible. Look, I get it. I didn't start out with millions of dollars. I grew up in a beautiful, loving household, home, and civilization full of love and support. However, where I grew up, tell me if this is true for you, I grew up in an employee society. You see, when I went to kindergarten, there was employees that were mentoring me at school, employees, my brothers, sisters, everybody that I knew, employees, my parents, cousins, aunties, uncles, music teachers, grandparents, were all employees. And because of that, the idea of making millions and having freedom and all these things didn't exist to me. Is it true for you as well? Here's what I learned. In order to get money, you must do something you don't like. Anyone else get that belief growing up? That's the belief that I got when I was growing up. Here's what I saw. I saw my dad. He loved playing sport. He loved coaching me in sport. He had so many things he loved to do, but then he had to sacrifice to go do this thing to get money. And I remember it very clearly. It was about this time of year. I was going back to school, summer holidays. I went back to school. I'm from New Zealand originally, live here in Australia in the Gold Coast. I was going back to school. And I remember saying, I don't really want to go to school. Why do I have to go to school? Why is this what I, I don't really want? I want to play. And then I remember being told, look, it's what you've got to do. You've got to learn. You've got to get ready for the real world. And then I'd see my parents and others saying, you know, we would love to do that, but we have to go do this to get money. And it was so confusing, so conflicting, because on one hand, there was this beautiful life accessible, but then everyone was just doing stuff they didn't want to do. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, I made this decision and I said, you know what? I'm going to live my life. I'm going to get out there and I'm, I'm going to have an experience. I'm going to have freedom. I'm going to do what I want. And so I wasn't a really good student. Let's just say I got kicked out of high school when I was 15. So I don't have the best education either because I really didn't gel with the way things were going. And so I started my first business as a personal trainer and I tried all sorts of different things. And then I did a silly thing. I went to university and I got a degree from somebody who had a job. And guess what I learned? Business. So just check this out. I learned business from somebody who had a job, which is the epitome of silly in my, uh, my sense, but at least I did it. And so I started selling lots of businesses. And here's what I found is the number one thing that stopped me the most was my employee background. Who's with me? My employee past. This here was the biggest thing. Who's with me on that? That was the biggest thing that stopped me because what would happen, you know, I'd create a business and it would become successful. My first business that really became successful was a water filter business. But guess what? The business that I created would make more money, but my life didn't change. See, I was creating the exact same experience, even though there was more money around. I still didn't like what I did. I still didn't love my life. And there I was. And so I would keep on doing this. And it was crazy to me to see how many entrepreneurs set out to create a business, to create freedom, to make millions of dollars, and they never experience what they actually want. Who's seen this before? It's absolutely intense. The amount of business owners, business owners that I see that never break through. And the reason is 
is because they're coded in with this employee mentality. So I want to ask you, by the way, you guys like that I'm getting right into this? Is this good? No mucking around here. This is a five-day challenge. We don't have time. Who's with me? Type in a yes if you like that. How do you define what an employee is? What is an employee? Now, that's a really important question. What's an employee? Well, an employee trades time for money. True? That is the definition of being employed. You trade your time for money. Now, you're a smart human being. How many of you have been to a funeral before? You will know then that time, time is actually limited. True? So because of that, if you're born in employee soup, you unconsciously already believe that if time equals money and time is limited, well, guess what money must be as well? Money must be, what is it? What must money be? Must be limited. True, who's with me? It must be limited. So what happens if money is limited? What are some of the things you tell your kids? They break their toy. You scold them. They lose the sweatshirt. You say, well, I have to buy another one. They want a new baseball bat, a new basketball, a new rug. They want some new things. And you say, we don't have the money for that. You don't go for the car you want. You don't go on the dream holidays that you want because it's limited. You see, because the only way that you knew how to create it was because of your time. Now, this becomes a massive problem. This becomes a massive problem. And here's what happens is even if, and I want you to hear this, even if you make a different decision like me and you say, you know what? I'm going to start a business. Guess what happens? Because of your past, you still create a business based around your time, and therefore, you never, ever break free. Who's hearing me loud and clear right now knows exactly what I'm talking about. You know that there's possible ways for you to go out there and create something big. You know it's there, but for some reason, it hasn't manifested in your life yet, right? And even if you try as many different options, many different strategies, there's just something that is holding you back. And I want to let you know it's in your genes. It's been passed down to you and it's super changeable. And I'm the result of this. Three years ago, my life was changed dramatically. Before that, I didn't even realize how much I needed to work on myself. I had a four and a half million dollar company. I was 29 years old. Thought I was doing everything right. I was in a movie with the Dalai Lama and Tony Robbins. I'd written three books. I traveled the world. I thought I had it made. And then my best friend was killed in a motorcycle accident and I lost it all. I was heavily invested because... I hadn't got out of this. I was invested massively with my time, and so was he. In fact, I was so stuck in employee mentality, I wasn't even living for me. I was reinvesting, I was overcapitalized, and I was in a dangerous position. And so then when he died, it was the most dreadful day of my life. He was hit in a motorcycle accident and died like that. The problem that made it even worse is even though we were making $500,000 a month, we were so overcapitalized and so invested with our time that when one person left, it was chaos. And what happened was my business ended up in $360 something thousand dollars of debt. It was three years ago in a couple of months. And I looked at this and I remember sitting there and here's what happened next. I didn't understand this, but I was so upset that I went out there and I made a million dollars in nine months. And then guess what? 
because I did it inside of this, I lost it again. And then I made it back and then I lost it again. In fact, I went to a million and back twice in one year. And then I sat down with a billionaire. I sat down with a billionaire and he said, Chris, there's one big secret. I'm going to be sharing this with you in more detail on day four. The secret is huge. He says, Chris, when you understand this secret, you guys will learn it on day four. Question, who's going to still be with me on day four? Because I'm going to go through it. And this one thing that he taught me, showed me how to finally get out of this, to finally stop replicating this time for money employee mentality. And I finally built an operation. We scaled to 5 million. It works without me. I have gyms and hair salons. I'm invested. I'm diversified. I'm safe. And that's the shift I want for you. And I want it for you this week because the number one problem that I see with entrepreneurs is they grew up in an employee household and no one taught them how to have the right money mindset and think like a billionaire. Who's with me? Are you with me? This is such a big topic. You can race out there. Here's what I hear all the time. I need another strategy, Chris. I've got Facebook ads or YouTube ads. I need another blog or a book or a this or a that. Rubbish. What's in front of you is good enough. Rubbish. I hear all sorts of things. Well, I haven't had the right opportunity. It's this, it was that, uh, self, uh, all sorts of stuff. And this week, it's going to be shattered for sure. So my question, are you in for the whole week? Because this week, we're going to lay it all out. We're going to recode it. We're going to see it. And for some of you, you'll join me on a 12-month real deep dive program to go all in, to change this, to change this, and to break through but not just for you. Your breakthrough for your future generations, because guess what? If they don't have to grow up in a time for money society, if they don't have to grow up in that soup, what are they going to be able to do? I always, I, I really think this, in every family, there's one. In every family, there's one that's going to shift and change that family. And that's me, and that's you. And I'm excited to meet you, and I'm excited to have you here for the rest of this week. So make sure you are. Let's get right into this. You want to make a million? It ain't that hard. It ain't that hard. Everyone thinks it's hard. It's not that hard. Here's how simple it is. A million is $500 times 2,000 people. $500 times 2,000 people. How many people are there in your city? How many people are there at your church? How many people are there at the school that your kids go to? How many people are there at your gym? There's easily 2,000 people. Look, think about that. $500 is around about $45 a month times 2,000 people. It's not that much. See, a million is actually just $1,000 times 1,000 people. That's it. That's it. It's actually only about $85 a month. That's it. Who's with me? It's not that much money to make a million. Like, look at the math. You could find someone to give you $85 a month. You could find a thousand of them. Write this down. My coach said this to me about six years ago. My coach said to me, Chris, if you can make a dollar, you can make a million. And I want you to take that on. If you can make a dollar, you can make a million. And let's, let's keep doing this. Look at this. $2,000, you only need 500 people. You only need 500 people, not 5,000. That here, it's only $170 a month. It's crazy to me, 500 people to pay you 170 a month. That's all that's stopping you making the big million. But most of us stop ourselves because of our past. We say, well, oh, I've never done it before or this or that, but it's our, it's our mindset. And that's why you're here this week. Who's with me? See, it's not that difficult. Who's heard of Elvis Presley or Walt Disney? Both of those guys right now, 
do not have any time. But let me ask you a question. How much money do you think Elvis Presley made last year? Well, actually the year before it now, we're now in 2017, he made $40 million. 40 million. And I've got a secret. He hasn't had much time for a very long time, <laughs> a few decades. So see, the thing is, is it's not about trading time for money. You see, as an employee growing up in an employee society, we think that is the way to do it. But clearly, Elvis knows something we don't. <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't have any time left. Neither does Walt Disney. People buy go to tickets to Disneyland and his movies all the time. So what is it? What is it that Elvis and these people are doing to be able to make money without their time? Well, it's actually very simple. The first thing that they have to have, and I'm going to spell this out. Are you guys enjoying this, by the way? Is this good? Give me a yes if you're enjoying it. The first thing that you must have, you must have a hungry audience who wants to buy. Number two, you must have a product or service delivered with no time. Number three, you must absolutely have this. You must have this. Absolutely. This is totally crucial. You must have marketing and sales systems. And that's it. And that's it. To make a million, that's it. See, a lot of us think that we don't need to have a business. If you want to make great money, a business is the fastest way to do it. But here's the mistake most of us make. And I want to talk about some mistakes. Because if you think about this, a hungry audience who wants to buy, a product or a service that's delivered with no time, and marketing and sales systems. It doesn't sound that difficult, does it? The truth is, to make a million, it's not. Because remember, a million is only a thousand, thousands, five hundred, two thousands. It's actually really simple. But here's the problem. Some of you read this, and the first thing that you say is, you say, but Chris, I don't have a product or service. I don't have that. And this is what I say to you. How many of you think that? I don't have a product or service. Neither did Oprah Winfrey, did she? She didn't have a product or service. What did she do? She built a freaking audience and sold other people's products. Oprah's book club. She didn't have a product or service. What about Facebook? Does Facebook have a product or service? Not really. It builds an audience that offers other people's products or services. How do magazines make money? How does radio make money? How does TV make money? They don't have products. They use other people's products or services. They build the audience, see? They find the hungry audience that wants to buy. Guess what they do? Check it out. They outsource the product or service and they outsource the marketing and sales. They just build the audience. Very clever, very smart, and very, very profitable. You see? The next thing you, you, you might say is, well, Chris, you know, I don't know. I don't have the talent. Another way you might say this is I don't have the skills. I don't have the skills, Chris. That is the best place to be. What if I told you not having the skills is the best place to be? Check this out. Richard Branson, he doesn't play great music. What's his biggest business where he started? Virgin Records. What did he start before that? Student Magazine. He wasn't a great writer. He didn't have the skills. You see, he didn't have the things, couldn't do it. What about Steve Jobs? I don't think Steve Jobs ever built a computer. He outsourced it to Woz. What about Henry Ford? Henry Ford never bought a car, built a car, did he? See, 
an employee mentality says, well, I've got to have some amazing talent or amazing skill. Who's with me? The truth is you just don't. You just don't. See, the next thing is you might say to yourself, well, I have no money. Who's with me? But Chris, I don't have any money. I don't have money and it takes money to make money. Well, what about JK Rowling? Single mom sitting on the train in the United Kingdom, writing her book. No money, nothing. Started with nothing. You might think you're too old. What about the KFC founder, the Colonel? You know, I think he was in his 60s when he started, you see? Now, there's, there's so many things. You might say, but Chris, this all sounds good. This all sounds great, but I don't have a good idea, Chris. I don't have a good idea. I need an idea. I don't, you know, this all sounds good. I, I need a, you know, I need to have a good idea. I, I, I'm not, I can't invent the next Facebook, everything else. I need to, I need to give you a little secret. See, JK Rowl, Rowling didn't have the money, but you know what she had that was better than money? Time. There's more than one input into starting a business. So she invented this amazing thing. But then others say, but Chris, I don't have the right idea. Write this down and remember it. Be a fast follower. Facebook was a fast follower of MySpace. Google was a fast follower of YouTube. Fast follower. Instagram with Instagram stories just followed Snapchat. Snapchat did all the innovation. Here's what you've really got to do to make a lot of money. Don't be the first one. Be number two. Write this down. Be a fast follower. Imitate, innovate, then invent. You don't need to invent something amazing. You don't need to, you see? Be a fast follower. I know, right? So who loves that, by the way? The money's not made with McDonald's figuring it all out. The money's made with Burger King or Hungry Jack's coming in second. You see, the money's not made. See, all that Nike did, do you know what Nike's vision statement was for a very long time as a company? Be, oh, sorry, Adidas to Nike. Adidas said, just be number two to Nike. That's all they cared about, just be number two. Be a fast follower. And so some people say, but Chris, this all sounds good. I'm not born. I'm not born to take risks. I'm not, I'm not a leader. Chris, I'm not a leader. I'm not a visionary. I don't want to, I don't want to come up with an idea. You know, I'm not like those people. Do you guys realize that there's two worlds when it comes to making money? First, there's the earning world. Then there's the growing world. Most of the wealth isn't made by people going out there and starting something. It's maybe someone else has got something. You come in as number two and number three, help them grow it or be a high paid something. And then you invest it somewhere to grow your money. You see, on day three, we're going to talk about money beliefs and thinking about ideas. Now, you looked at that slide a few slides ago and you realized, okay, cool. Well, making a million isn't so big. I only need to find 2,000 people to pay me $500 or 1,000 people to pay me 1,000. Yeah, I come from an employee background. This all sounds good, Chris, but shit, mate, I still don't have the money. Have you seen my bank account? And then, and then you went through all this and you went, yeah, cool. So I need a hungry audience who wants to buy a product or service uh, that's delivered in no time. And then I need to create a marketing or sales system. This, this all sounds good, Chris, but, but how am I going to put this together? That question is coming from your limits. See, it's not how do I put it together? Do you guys want to know the secret? The secret isn't how am I going to do this? The secret is just which million idea do I want to choose? Let me ask you, how many millionaire ideas do you pass every single day? 
where there's a hungry audience that wants to buy, where there's a product or service that's delivered with no time, and there's marketing and sales systems that you can look at and copy and understand. Guys, I build multi-million dollar companies in my sleep. We started a virtual assistant company. It's going gangbusters. Why? Because I know there's people that want virtual assistants. It's still, I'm not the virtual assistant. Someone else does it. And the marketing's obvious. None of my time, tens of thousands of dollars coming in whenever it is that we turn it on, whenever we want it. Who thinks that's an exciting idea? What about my digital marketing agency? Check this out, digital marketing. How many businesses need a digital marketer? Really simple, every business needs one. Delivered with no time, I employ the marketers. I find someone else to do it and the systems are sitting in there. Simple, simple, easy. But you're sitting there before I shared those really simple things going, how do I do this? I picked up a gym and two hair salons this year Million dollar businesses, they're sitting right there. They're just sitting there waiting. The opportunity is everywhere, but you're walking around with this old filter. And the old filter says this, what is it that I can do to then go and create money? What is it that I can do to create money? Instead of asking a better question, here's the question. What is the best use of my time? What is the best use of my time to create the most wealth for me and my family? And it's such a different question. And when you go into that world and you start looking at it, you will stumble across million dollar business ideas all the time. And so I want to take you through how to understand where you can fit in the value chain of a business because it's important. But before I go there, let me just share one thing. I'm blooming excited about this week, guys. Seriously, I've got so much to share every day and I got to make sure you guys are going to be on every single day. On the last day, I'm giving away a one-on-one -on -one session where you and I will get together one-on-one, -on -one, a couple of hours on the phone, on the computer, and we will go in it, we'll dive deep, we'll look at everything, we'll come out with your idea and your million dollar plan. Who would like to have that session, by the way? I'm giving away just one. And it's going to be the person who plays the most full out, that is the most excited, the most engaged for the whole week. But here's what happens. There's this thing called cognitive dissonance. You hear these ideas about making millions. And part of you goes, that would be really good. You'd really like that. But then part of you, part of you judges it. You judge people that have lots of money. You judge the idea of you being greedy. And that's the thing that's holding you back more than anything. Your brain doesn't know what you want. See, there's nothing wrong with just having money. The number one thing that people as employees mentality think, because, and I want you to hear this, because of the only way that you and your family knew how to get money was by giving up a piece of your life. Money had a different feel to you. Think about this for a second. If the only way for you to create wealth was to give up the most important thing you've ever been given, that you can never get back, which is a piece of your life, it's really important. When you're in that mentality, if you see someone with a lot of it, your brain codes up that they're bad because all these other people had to give up parts of their life to get that. So you code it up bad. And it's such an interesting situation to be in that they must have done something wrong to get it. Because the only way that you've experienced getting lots of money is doing stuff you don't like. And this is the big shift. To make a lot of money, it's not about getting. It's about giving and giving and giving and giving. Making a lot of cash is about creating something 
that gives people what they desire without your time. It's about creating that. For example, I created the world's best speaker training program. People go through it, they become speakers, they make tons of money, they change the world. It's great. We created gyms. We created VA businesses. We created a digital marketing certificate. We created that and it works without me, but it gives. Do you, who gets it? Type in a yes if you get that. It gives. It gives. It's giving more. It's giving more than it's given back. It gives more. That's the key to understanding is you've really got to give. And can I tell you the truth? Most people that aren't making the money that they desire are just not giving enough to the world in the right way. They're giving to their boss. They're giving, but they're not giving. They're not changing the world. They're not helping. Guys, check this out. Because of my giving, because of creating a system and giving and giving and giving, our company received so much money that I'm now able to employ the best staff on the planet, the best team ever. And I'm able to give to them a great job, a great opportunity, a great place to work. And they're able to look after their families and hit their goals, do what they want and give even more. It's a complete give. It's a total joy. And that's where you've got to get to. That's where you've got to get to. And it's exciting. It's exciting. So, so that's, that's what you need to understand about getting out there and creating a million dollar business and creating yourself a way to make a lot of money. And so here's my question to you. Do you have an opportunity that you know of that can turn into a million dollars? Do you have that opportunity? Most people are typing in, yes. Do you see at least one that you know you could turn into a million dollars? If not, I can give you 10, but do you have one, yes or no? If it's a yes, fantastic. If it's a no, let me show you the plan. The first thing you must do is become a seeker. A seeker looks for the right idea and then how to deliver. Oh, how to how to deliver to the customer. So some of you are a seeker right now and you're going, what's my idea? What's my idea? And then how do I deliver it? What's my idea? How do I deliver it? If you've already got your idea, you've moved to the next place, which is a starter. A starter's asking, how do I sell it? This is the next stage. How do I sell it? And you do this, I'm gonna show you how to get this all done in a year. The next is a promoter. How do I reach? more people. The next one is a builder. The builder says, how do I systemize this? And then finally, you're an operator, which is how do I find the right people. Now, here's what's interesting. These chunks, seeker, starter, promoter, builder, and operator, are really, really, really clear. But you're all at one of these places. Most of us are naturally drawn to one of these. Let me ask you, don't type in yet. If you're a natural seeker, you love coming up with ideas and figuring out how to deliver them.
Type in if you're a natural seeker. Starters, you love selling things. Promoter, you love reaching people, creating content. You love getting out there and promoting. Builder, you love systemizing and processes. And operator, if you've got a team, you know how to run a team. I see a lot of people in corporate get stuck as operators or builders. Then they try to get in the entrepreneur world and they don't understand this other part. Massive secret, guys. Massive secret. If you want to make money fast, find someone who has a great idea that knows how to deliver it. Find someone who knows how to sell it. And find someone who can reach more people. Hire someone who can build out the systems. Hire someone who can operate the team. Right there, the what's sitting on that page, you either be each one of those or you find the people to help you in each of those levels. Now, two things are happening right now. Either you're going, Chris, I agree with this. This makes so much sense. I'm, I'm all in. Or you're doubting yourself that that's even a possibility. Either way, you're in the right place because this week is going to be massive. I hope if nothing else today, you have seen some places that you need to shift your mindset so that you can actually create what you want. Here's my big goal for today. It's not the world that's the problem. There's enough opportunity. The problem is, is just like me, you were born in an employee society and you just got the wrong training. You just got the wrong training. So you're trying to create a million or multi-million dollar business lifestyle or life operating under the wrong instructions. When I sat down with the billionaire, and I'm going to tell you about this story a lot. He said to me, most people just don't understand the simplicity of making lots of money. He said, Chris, money is nothing but a measurement. He said, here's how I make business. He goes, I find someone who's got the money, someone who's got the idea, someone who's going to run it. I put them all in a room together and I have them sign a contract. I just am the glue between it all. And it blew my mind because my whole life, I always thought I have to create an I and I didn't understand. Guys, there's going to be lots of nuggets this week. Lots of nuggets. I promised to myself when I finally built a multi-million dollar company that I would, I, would, I would get back and teach this. And so I run a program for 12 months called the Magnetic Mind Program. Every Tuesday I get on and I work on this for people because I promise you it's the number one. Guys, that's it for today. Here's my challenge to you. My challenge is today I want you to decide that you're going to do whatever it takes to break that million-dollar income barrier. You're going to, to decide to make at least $80,000 a month. You're going to decide. And so if you're all in, I want you to go to the group. This is your challenge. And I want you to make a public declaration to our small groups. So not the real public, but just in our little group. It's private. No one else sees it. Have you all got the link to the group? Because I'm going to be looking for people who are making the commitment. I am giving away a lot of stuff. I'm going to be watching. The replay is available for 24 hours. And let's talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be big. Tomorrow, I'm going to go through the seven sabotage patterns that keep you stuck. Tomorrow is going to be a big, big day. Because until you know how you're stopping yourself, you don't know what to change. You don't know what to change. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. If you're watching the replay, I love you just as much. I would love you more if you're on live. 
but I get it. You've got a life. Can not wait for tomorrow. Go in the group and make a commitment about why you're so committed to breaking the millionaire barrier and who you're going to help by doing that. I'm so blessed to be here. Did you guys all enjoy today? Let's go jump over into the Facebook group, the Seven Figure Influencer Tribe. Let's go jump in there. Let's have some fun. I'll answer some questions and I cannot wait to help you even more this week. It's going to be a blast. So sketch it out in your in your diary. Get a babysitter. Do what you need to do. Same time, same place every day. And if you're watching the recording, make sure that you reply to me and send me some messages. I am watching. I'm all yours for the next five days. See you in the Seven Figure Influencer Tribe. I'll be over there in a second. Bye for now.